So in this video, I'm going to be putting myself and Ladybug out through a winter camping test. So I did a food run and I have my trusted sourdough bread. I got some organic baby bell mushrooms, organic avocados, some arugula, apples, some organic cuties, and grass-fed aged cheddar cheese. That will be my staple for putting in my beans and rice along with other things that I already have in the van. I also got an onion, a sweet potato, which I will probably have cut up one night in one of these. So I have my quinoa and brown rice. I have a couple of pack, I have all of my packets of those. And then a regular potato that I will probably have with some of my aged cheddar cheese on top of it. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you know I'm a big advocate to try something out first if you are not sure. And one of the things that I have never really had to do because I usually go to warmer weather when I can is winter camping. I have been in say 37 degree weather in the desert when temperatures have dropped significantly and I wasn't really prepared for it, but I did fine. The lowest I was in is 27 degrees Fahrenheit, so that tested it a little bit, but I realized that I was not prepared to be in cold climate for a longer period of time. So as I think about doing that or whether or not I can do that, I thought I would give it a try. One of the things that I do have are my long johns, both the bottoms and top on with a quilted coat and my vest. And I did borrow some of these snow pants, snow overalls, coveralls, because I know it's gonna be dropping significantly and I thought that this might be an extra layer to help keep me warm. I don't know. I like these overalls because they had this little thing on the inside that goes around your boots so it can keep it from snow getting in. It's like a winter wonderland out here. It's beautiful. And you can see up here it is 26 degrees out still. It's getting cold already. So there's a camp area right here that I will be able to use for a campfire. So that should be nice. See some wood over there and over here. So that's nice. Listen to those birds. I just came out here to watch the sunset. Can't see it too much. This is all farmland out here, pretty much. So I am warming up the van a little bit because I came inside from the sun going down and before it gets too dark or too cold, I just thought I would warm it up in here so that I could cook some dinner for myself. And then I will probably go start a fire and warm up by the fire. So for now, I'm going to get some fire going on in here. So you can see pretty good with that lighting. So that's good. Uh, I think I can take these off. I think 
this. So I'll have some arugula, cut up a sweet potato and an onion and some mushrooms with this. This is a new little cutting board that I got. I really like it. They came in a pack of, I think five. So I took these that match the colors of the van. I've got three of them. One, this one, this one, and this one. So they're really nice. They're those, I don't know what synthetic material they are, but they are thin and they do just fine. So I will chop, chop, chop. <laughs> So already in the time that it has taken to cut these up, it is 43 degrees in here, which is getting quite comfortable. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off the car. And be able to cook a little bit. This is the first time I'm going out with my hand. I'm, this is another test to see if it does okay. It's a little hard to chop. See how solid the ghee is? That is a telltale sign of how cold it is. I'll get some out here. Oh. See, and I'm left-handed, so I chop everything with my left hand. It's really hard. It's putting a lot of pressure on exactly where it is hurt. Right. I gave up on the ghee and I put coconut oil in there instead. While that's cooking, I'll do a little cleanup with this and this. Done with those. If you're new to my channel, uh, these are bamboo paper towels that are washable and reusable. So I like to use them as my rags. I also have this that I'm using for a pot uh, holder. It's a Norwex EnviroCloth. So these are also antibacterial. They basically clean as they dry. So I like using them as well. Saves on laundry and this is my lovely meal tonight. Quinoa and brown rice with arugula, mushrooms, onion, and sweet potato. I had the fan going to get the smoke going that way. Mm. So I'm cleaning up. I just sprayed this a little bit. I'll let that sit for a little while before I clean it up. But I need to go outside because it's so beautiful out. I want you to see this. I don't know if it captures the beauty of this. Right now inside, because I've been cooking, it's 43 degrees. And I just checked the temperature for the local temperature. It is 19 degrees out right now. So that's pretty good that inside the van right now, because of cooking and having it running a little bit before while I was cooking, it is 43 degrees in here. So that feels good. I think now that I am done cleaning up and eating, I might go see if I can start a fire outside. Maybe too cold for that. I may just stay snuggly warm in here. I don't know, I have to decide.
I'm going to warm up some water for tea and my hot water bottle. So it went from 43, 44 degrees inside when I was cooking and had warmed up the van to 45 minutes later being 35 degrees in here. And I haven't turned on the van again, but I am warming up water. I do think I'm going to just get settled and I'll show you how I do that and how I plan to do that to stay warm. I like tea to soothe myself and warm up at night and then this will be great because I can use the same water for my hot water bottle. Put that in there. Just keep me nice and toasty warm. So when I am preparing in the evening to put my bed out, I usually put my pee jug over here so that it's not underneath because it's usually stored underneath the bench and I have to pull out the bench in order for my other slap of the bed to pull across. So I usually just move that so that I won't have any problems if I have to get up in the middle of the night to go pee. So I wanted to put it on widescreen so that you could see the bench over there, which you're not gonna see. <laughs> I have to fold out this way. And before I do that, I just put my pillows and this blank that I'm gonna roll out over here and these over here. I flip out the bench and then I flip this up. So I unhook these bungees that I have when I'm going down the road. Slide it out. Like this. And then I have this blanket, my voided blanket, and that goes on first, closest to me, and then this one goes on top. For recording purposes, I don't have the van on because you'd be hearing it, but when I'm setting up my bed for the five minutes that it takes, the van is warming up again. Now, tonight, it says it's going to drop to 13 degrees. So I'm going, I always have this extra army blanket. And when I put this on top, it really seals it. And I am just going to keep my overalls on. I'm probably going to take this off because I'm already getting hot. And I know I'll get, once I warm the van up, I'll be very hot. But I'll take this vest off. And... This is my pillow, so what I do is I just put this pillowcase on over the top of this so that it keeps it clean. And then I don't have to wash this one as much. I just have to wash this. So that'll be that. I have these cuddle duds on, which I think is going to be warm enough. I may end up having to take the overalls <laughs> off. So... I'll just put this over here for the morning when it's cold and I want that warmth again. But what I normally do, grab my tea and I have this out and my toiletry bag over there. So when I want to brush my tea, I'll put it over here. Okay. Make sure that's tight. But I'll put my hot water bottle sometimes near my feet, sometimes just wherever I'm cold. Right now I'm cold on my feet because I took my boots off. Yeah, so I can touch you. I'm going to put this up. There. So I should be okay. I'm just wondering if anything will freeze. I'm not using my pump because I usually take it out if I'm somewhere where it's going to be freezing. So I emptied it and I'm just using jugs for this little experiment. And I would probably do the same 
because you don't want to have water in your tank when it's going to be below freezing temperatures, which it is below freezing temperatures. I think there's enough in the water jugs that they are not going to freeze, but I will tell you in the morning if they do. But with the van, I'll warm it up again here before I go to bed and drink my tea. And then after that, I'll just brush my teeth and go to bed. So, so far so good, which is odd to me that I, it's a sustained cold weather outside but it's warm inside. So what I'll do when I turn on the van, it usually takes about five to 10 minutes and I will gauge the temperature and it'll get, so it's almost too hot in here, like where I feel like I'm sweating. And that is a good indication that once I'm under these blankets, a hot water bottle with good warm tea in me, I will, be able to sleep the night comfortably. And so that is what I will do. And I will tell you if I sleep comfortably. Good night. I will see you in the morning. Well, they weren't lying when they said it was going to be 13 degrees tonight. That is now ice in this. What was left over of my tea is also frozen. Mm -hmm.